In this lecture, we'll be exploring try and catch blocks. So in PHP, we have try catch statement, which will allow us to work with object errors. The syntax looks like this. We have try, then curly braces, open and close. Then we have catch with a parameter called exception and then a variable with dollar sign E or any other name. For instance, over here, we have taken dollar sign E and then the catch block gets closed with a curly brace. Now this exception that you see over here inside the catch block as a parameter is a class that is built into PHP. And here we are assigning the exception to an object variable called dollar sign E. Inside this catch, we'll want to do something useful with the dollar E object, which will be of the type exception. So the try block that we have over here, basically anything that is supposed to throw an error, for instance, that some kind of connectivity issue is there with the server. In that case, an exception will happen and that will then get handled by the catch block. So anything which might throw an exception should be placed inside the try block. Then we have another statement over here in try catch that's a throw. Now the throw is how you trigger an exception. We'll see that in a bit. And whenever you are having a throw statement, it must have at least one catch. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Here you can see that we have created a function called test num and we are passing a number to it. Now we are saying that if the number is greater than 10. We are throwing exception using the throw keyword. And the exception says value must be 10 or below. Otherwise, we are simply returning true. So here, whenever this function will be called and the value will be greater than 10, this will throw an exception. Now, here you can see that we are making use of try catch block. The try block is handling a function which might throw an error. So here we are saying test num 20. Now when we are saying 20 and we're passing it over here, it will go inside this code block because 20 is greater than 10 and the exception will be thrown. As soon as the exception will be thrown, the catch block will handle that exception and the get message will actually give you this message. If you are going to provide a low value like 9, 8. In that case, this statement will be shown. So let's execute it and see it in action. And here you can see the output is showing value must be 10 or below. And that is the same exception message that we mentioned over here. Now if I go over here and say this value as 10 and save it. And as you can see, we are getting this message now because the value is 10, which is going to be part of this block return true. When it is returned true, you will be seeing this message, which says if you see this, the number is 10 or below. So that's how we make use of try and catch block to handle exceptions gracefully.